Hello, my boss. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Same here. Thank you. So um, today we will discuss Campus Ambassadors program, your experience, um, your interest, everything. So firstly, could you please tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Danny Yolabode Abbas. Uh, my friend told me Abbas for short. Um, I study um, currently at Kilbritton University, Sydney, Nova Scotia. Um, in my final year, of uh, public health degree um, here. Um, a fun fact about me is that just to tell you that uh, I'm from the most popular African nation, which is Nigeria. And um, I must tell you, I'm married um, to a lovely wife and I have three kids and they're actually doing well. So basically that's just little about me. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Abbas, how did you come to study at CBU? Well, um, just like any other person, I did a little research. And when I did the research, I found out that um, Cape Breton University had um, uh, as, um, the best, one of the best um, public health program in Canada among the six universities already um, public health. And um, secondly, I realized that um, this uh, the school is located uh, within the second best uh, island in the whole world. So I realized that I'm getting a prize for two. Like I'm going to be studying at the same time. I'm going to be exploring the second best uh, island in the whole world. So that was what informed my decision. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. uh, Abbas, why were you interested in the campus ambassador role? Well, first, I am from a medical background, so I was really interested in understanding how international health insurance works in Canada. Uh, Visa fees, I was looking at learning and trying to help my fellow student on how to assess healthcare using the benefit that God me is gonna offer them. So that motivated me. Along the line, I also feel like I'll be able to develop some of my skills while helping others. So those were the, the three things that made me to say I have to join. Perfect. Perfect. How long did you volunteer as a campus ambassador? Well, I started off volunteering um, from July 2019. So roughly is almost almost a year right now, like around 10 months ago. <laughs> yeah. So Abbas, you were um, one of the team members and then you became the team leader. So what was it like working as a campus ambassador? Well, it's been fun and also a learning curve um, in that um, along the line, I learned how to work within a team as a member, just as you rightly said, um, along the line, working, learning how to work with um, the faculties that is coordinating the program on campus, as well as my colleagues in the team, in campus about our team as well as my wonderful, amazing campus ambassador manager. So I learning to pick up some skills along the line. So it's been fun and it's been a nice learning curve for me. Sounds great. Uh, Abbas, what do you think? Um, what are important qualities for a successful campus ambassador? Well, first, a good campus ambassador must be able to organize his thought, be um, someone that can manage his time, his or her time well, because time management is very, very key to being a successful campus ambassador because you'll be juggling with studying at the same time, you're gonna be volunteering. So you should be able to 
uh, manage your time very well efficiently and you have to be creative and you must have excellent communication skill because you will be interacting with uh, your colleagues, you'll be interacting with your faculties as well as other people that you come along trying to promote the Canvas Ambassador. So you must have good communication skill as well as you must be ready to work, very key to work in a team setting. Yeah, why trying to deliver in your delivery? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, Abbas, you organize different types of information booths and also some colorful events like Valentine's Day event. Um, could you please share your experience in organizing events as a campus ambassador? Well, first is the first process that we used to do in my team is to first discuss the idea about the event. What do we want to do? We set out the objective of that event and try to itemize uh, the key delivery results we need to get from the event. And we try to look at the logistics in terms of date, time, how convenient it is for everyone to attend and make it successful one. Um, we look at the budget, we we'll also look at sharing the rules so that everybody feels uh, like part of the team. So why doing that? We always go ahead and get approval from our campus ambassador manager as well as the coordinating faculty within the campus. Once we have a go ahead, so we try to design our poster, put up the poster around the campus, then we go ahead and create awareness within the class, within social media, used on networks that we can get to make sure uh, the student are, and uh, the campus community is aware of the event. So on the day of the event, we set up our booth, try to inform uh, our fellow student and faculty and whoever turns up about the wonderful things that we have in campus about the program. So, and usually we always have very, very interesting program. <laughs> and thank you so much for organizing those information booths and engaging activities. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, so Abbas, um, do you think campus ambassador position allows you to develop and refine new skills? Absolutely. Um, one key one is um, my ability to lead and work within a team. Uh, it has helped me to refine that. And um, one, if I must say, I've, um, I've grown within the with shortest time to be a team lead. So I think <laughs> that tells how I've learned and grown within this system. Exactly. Um, so Abbas, you know we are going to recruit new campus ambassadors. Uh, we are also organizing different types of uh, virtual sessions for our current ambassadors. What advice would you give to new ambassadors? Well, my advice is just to tell them that Campus Ambassador's program is your partner in progress, trying to help you towards achieving your goal and your set target if you really apply yourself to the program. Exactly. Exactly. And finally, Abbas, what are your future goals? Well, Wow. Um, I look forward to being um, a lead in an amazing public health program. And to finish it all, I'm looking for a day when I will be part of the wonderful team of Guard Me. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. 
Abbas, and you will be happy to know that we have started recruiting our campus ambassadors. Uh, for example, we recruited Harsh Deep, um, who was the best team lead uh, last year, and we also recruited Puneet, who was the best team member, member at uh, Sister College. So we have started recruitment process from our campus ambassadors team, so all the best. Thank you so much. So can I add something? Sorry? Can I add something? <laughs> Just let us know if you are interested in any position. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to let you know this before you, you let me go. Um, true campus ambassador, I was having an event uh, on campus. Got me events on campus and um, the former vice president of public health society walked up to me and told me, you seem to have the set skills that we're looking for in those that should be part of uh, the executive of public health society. So I was like, oh, why do you say that? I said, I've been observing you the way you've been doing this. So will you be part of this? We like to be part of this uh, as executive. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'll give it a try. And I put up my application. Amongst like um, about 500 people applying, I was chosen because of God. Oh, I'm so happy about us. Congratulations. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome of us. And um, actually, you did a great job. You organized like all those events and you always tried to generate different types of ideas, you know. So perfect. Yeah. Like, thank you. Thank you, too. <laughs> Abbas, uh, thanks for your time today. And um, we will actually meet soon. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. How was OK? Uh, hey Abbas, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, you asked me something. I just missed it. What was that? No, no, no.